Hello, everyone. I'm Jiri Locker. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat. And I joined uh, the OptoPlanner team uh, in 2018. And shortly after I joined the team, I started uh, working on, um, on vehicle routing application. And this has been my main focus for the past uh, two years. So in this uh, talk, I'm going to uh, share the experience I uh, gained uh, on this project. And I will talk about, uh, I will start with the introduction of the vehicle routing problem, uh, why, it, why it is uh, interesting and how uh, it's different from other use cases that OptaPlanner can handle. I will um, shortly talk about the solving methods that are that used uh, for vehicle routing problems. And then I will um, share some useful tips and technologies uh, that we used for building the OptaWeb vehicle routing application, which is uh, which already has been mentioned by Duncan. It is a template application that solves some interesting problem specific for the vehicle routing use case that are out of scope of uh, Opta Planner itself. Um, then I will uh, make a short, uh, I will do a short demo, live demo of vehicle routing, Opta Web vehicle routing. And um, at the, after the demo, I will close the, the talk, the presentation. So let me first introduce the vehicle routing problem. It is a common use case for uh, businesses that deal with some kind of transportation. It can be food delivery, package delivery, personal transportation, such as taxi services or technician scheduling, uh, scheduling where employees need to travel in order to perform some kind of service task. Uh, formally, it is a combinatorial optimization problem that seeks to service a number of customers with a fleet of vehicles. But this is just the basic form. In real life, each use case comes with a unique set of additional constraints. So in fact, VRP is a generic term covering a whole class of vehicle routing flavors, such as capacitated, capacitated uh, VRP, where the vehicle capacities are limited, multiple de depot VRP, where the vehicle fleet is distributed over a number of depots. Then we have split de delivery VRP, where the same customer is allowed to be served by different vehicles. So the, the order can be split between different vehicles. And another very common um, extra constraint for the problem is time windows where the customer is only able to accept the delivery during a certain time window. And then we have another flavors like pickup and delivery and backhauls, etc. So what are the solution methods that are used uh, for vehicle routing problems? Basically, all methods fall into two categories which is the exact approach and heuristic approach. While the goal of uh, exact approach is to design algorithms that can find the optimal solution most efficiently, they are rarely useful in practical applications because due to the difficulty of the vehicle routing problem, it takes them unreasonably long to um, find a solution even for moderately sized problems. So they are, they are slow, that's their main characteristic. On the other hand, uh, heuristic approaches are designed to produce a solution quickly by trading optimality for speed. So while they only produce an approximation of the optimal solution, you get something that you can work with, that you can use to solve the problem at hand, and you get it in a reasonably short amount of time. 
And a subset of uh, the heuristic approach is called meta heuristics. And these are methods for controlling the basic heuristic algorithms with the goal of exploring the search space more efficiently. One of their main characteristics is that they are not problem specific. And I think this is the key um, reason why Opta Planner uh, took the meta heuristic uh, approach and uh, it contains several implementations of meta heuristic algorithms out of the box. And this gives you a huge benefit because you can take almost any problem, not only vehicle routing, and start experimenting and tweaking uh, these algorithms without having to re-implement them. So your job or task as a Java, de Java developer uh, trying to build an application uh, based on Opta Planner is to learn, read the documentation, learn about uh, the algorithms uh, that are available and how to configure them. Then you have to model the uh, domain of your of the business that needs your solution in Java using Opta Planner API. And the third step is to write the score function. So this is great because uh, thanks to this level of flexibility of Opta Planner, uh, this gives you the freedom to build an application that solves any flavor of VRP that you come across in the real world. Now, uh, a bit about the scoring function. So now that we have an idea of the general approach to solving optimization problems with Opta Planner, uh, let's take a look at some specifics of uh, vehicle routing. So this time we'll um, take a look at, uh, at the cost of traveling between, uh, between uh, the depot and customer and another customer. So when writing uh, the score function that uh, allows to compare the quality of different solutions discovered by the search algorithm, you want to penalize the solution score by a number representing the cost of each route traversed by a vehicle. It doesn't really matter whether you optimize for the shortest or fastest route. In both cases, you have to get a number based on the length and type of the road connection between the points of, of, on the route. An important thing to keep in mind when uh, thinking about uh, the travel cost and uh, scoring function is that for Opta Planner to search uh, the solution space efficiently, it has to calculate the score quickly. So this means you should avoid any IO operations during uh, the score calculations especially accessing files on the file system or calling services over the network. Uh, what, what does this mean for vehicle routing? Uh, it means that um, you have to calculate the complete distance matrix for all locations that are part of the problem and keep that matrix in memory while Opta Planner is running. And the first question is, how do we even get uh, this piece of in information? How do we get the travel time between any given two points on, on a, a map? So luckily, <clears throat> there is a project called OpenStreetMap, which contains uh, geographical data about the whole world. Data is contributed and maintained by the community and is open, which means that you can use it for any purpose as long as you credit OpenStreetMap and its contributors. So I can highly recommend uh, using this project uh, when building any kind of geo, uh, geographic or, uh, geographical information system or the type of application uh, next uh, piece uh, 
we need to complete the puzzle is a way to extract the exact type of information that we need from OpenStreetMap map, map data. Specifically, we need to find road connections between points of interest and the time it takes to traverse such connections using a selected type of vehicle. Again, thanks to the amazing <coughs> open source world, this isn't something we need to do ourselves. There is a project called Graphopper that can be fed with, um, with the OpenStreetMap data. And uh, it has a nice API that uh, finds routes between points together with details such as the travel time and the exact uh, route geometry, which is useful for visualization and even directions, which is useful for uh, navigation applications. This is another <coughs> reason we went for Graphopper when building Octave vehicle routing, because although there are commercial services providing the distance matrix API, uh, this type of request for uh, provided by these uh, commercial services is usually limited to about 50 locations. While with Octave vehicle routing, we aim for larger problems that can solve even thousands of uh, customers. Uh, another interesting topic is uh, visualization of the uh, of the problem and of the solution. And so, because uh, geographical services are very popular on, on the web, it is no surprise that we can find many technologies for web visualization in the open source world. We uh, use Leaflet for Octave vehicle routing because it's uh, lightweight, it has a nice API and is very flexible and allows you to consume raster map tiles from any vendor, not only OpenStreetMap. Uh, and you will see it just in a while. So <clears throat> let's now take a quick break and spice up the presentation with a live demo. I'll, I hope it will go without breakage. So let me start the application. Uh, I like to use Belgium for demos because it's a relatively uh, small and compact region with a dense road network. So let's, let's add a few Belgian cities. I'm going to first uh, use a feature called geocoding, which is a common feature of geographical applications. And it simply means that uh, I can type in the name or the address of the place I'm looking for. And the application will send me a list of matching coordinates that I can display on the map and decide whether it is really the place I was looking for. I will del deliberately look for places that coincidentally are valid English words so that I don't mess up the Dutch or French pronunciation. I have prepared a list of these locations. So for example, Billy is someplace at Belgium. We also have Silly, interesting. And places like Philly, Willy, Nelly. Oh, this one doesn't work. So let's uh, try something else, Ham. loop and boom. Nice. So we have we have a couple of locations. Uh, yeah, and another interesting um, part of this uh, geocoding feature is that I can even uh, include some um, basic restrictions in the query so I can uh, for example search for gas station in Antwerp and I get some relevant results. 
So now we have a few locations, a depot and a few customers on the map, but there is no route. And this is because uh, we don't uh, have any vehicles in the, in the depot. So let's add one. And you may have noticed that uh, I immediately received a solution and you may also have noticed that the solution that I received first has uh, immediately improved without me having to refresh the browser or anything like that. So, and even if I add new uh, customers, the, the solution will um, update immediately. So this is a feature, an important feature in OptaPlanner that is called real-time planning and means that I can provide new information about the problem while solver is running and it will take that into account and adjust uh, the, the best solution according to that. So in this demo, uh, the default uh, capacity of, of a vehicle is 10 and the demand of a customer is one one package. And you can notice that uh, even though I have one vehicle of capacity 10, it visits all, all the customers and nothing happens. So actually the vehicle, the solution is now breaking um, hard constraint, but since um, in this um, application template, we are focusing on specific problems to vehicle routing. There are some uh, advanced uh, OptaPlan features such as score explanation that are not yet implemented and are maybe waiting for a contribution from the com community. So if you're interested in, interested in this project and want to contribute, uh, find us on, on GitHub and submit issues or pull requests. So that's it uh, for the uh, for the demo. I will switch back to back to the slides. Uh, Chiri, is this demo? Oh yeah, and there it is. I was actually going to ask for the GitHub uh, link. That is mm -hmm. great. Thank you. So this is the summary of the of the presentation. We have seen uh, and learned that. Vehicle routing problem is very difficult and um, there is basically uh, no exact algorithm that is uh, usable for real world applications. Therefore, we need to uh, resort to meta heuristics, which give approximate solutions, but uh, the, the, uh, are fast. I have mentioned that OptaPlanner has uh, several implementations of those meta heuristics uh, implemented and available out of the box. And one of the more most important takeaways of this uh, presentation is that for the score cal calculation to be, uh, to be fast and for the search algorithm to perform optimally, uh, you should avoid any IO operations. So, for example, the distance matrix that affects uh, the score needs to be in memory. I have shown several uh, geographical tools that we used for up the vehicle routing, like OpenStreetMap data, which is the source of geographical data, GraphHopper, which can extract uh, routing information from the data, and Leaflet uh, that can visualize geographical data on a map. And um, I made a demo of the Opta Web Vehicle Routing, which is an open source project available on, on GitHub. And um, you can learn about it on optaplanner.org. And if you want to try it, clone the repository from, from GitHub and build it and run it with Java. That's it. Thank you. And now,